Turning now to your community focus. If seeing a Christmas carol is part of your holiday tradition, you need to listen up because the show is going on the road. Joining me now is Trinity Repertory's artistic director, Kurt Columbus. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, Kim, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you for having Same me. Same here. So let's start with this yeah. news about a Christmas carol. The show will go on. Correct. But it will not be performed inside your Washington Street building because of some renovations that are going to be happening to the theater. Talk to me about those renovations and why they're happening at one of your busiest times of year. Yeah, so we've actually had these renovations planned for about five years now. It's a really important update to the theater. It hasn't been updated in, since it was uh, begun in like 1974. Wow. So um, we need some new seats. We're going to put in a new stage floor. We're going to put in a whole new uh, lighting system. So it will update the theater. Audiences will really notice that change when they come. And because it's been necessary for a while, this is part of a larger plan. So um, we're planning to move Christmas Carol off site because it's our largest show. Mm. And our smaller downstairs Dowling Theater just can't accommodate that. Understood. Okay, so where is a Christmas Carol going to be performed? and when will people know about this? Yeah, so I can't tell you, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can, what I can tell you today is we are in conversations for another Providence location. Okay. And I'll be able to come back in a week or okay. so and talk to you again and give you some of the details. But it's an incredibly exciting moment for us. Our director is a young woman named Tatiana Marie Carlo. Tatiana has directed a bunch of stuff for us over the past couple of years. If you've seen something that's funny, that's musical, that's <laughs> fast paced and really energetic, that's Tatiana. So I feel like her work is going to be amazing with A Christmas Carol All right, this so year. next week we will have news, but still in Providence. So yeah, that's the big yeah. headline. All right, so you didn't just announce A Christmas Carol. You announced your whole season. What can yeah. people expect? Well, and the, the greatest part is we're kicking off the season with two comedies in rep. One that's set in the White House. It's <laughs> called POTUS. And it's about all of the women that surround the president. So you're backstage at the White House and you see all of these women. It's a farce, it's fast moving, it's funny, it's a little bit naughty, it's perfect. <laughs> it will be a great antidote to the political season <laughs> for the rest of us. And then we're also pairing that with uh, Ms. Holmes and Ms. Watson in apartment 2B. It's a modern take on Sherlock Holmes um, by a woman named Kate Hamill, who did Pride and Prejudice with us a couple of years ago again fast-paced mm. funny and different so that's how we're going to start our season and we'll continue to have all of our shows in the Dowling theater downstairs um, so audiences won't really notice the difference when they come to Trinity rep they'll still be coming to Trinity and they'll see, still see great theater well and before we let you go we've got just about 15 seconds left your current season isn't over no. so what should people know they, they should come to see La Caja Full which is directed by Tavon Gamble which has incredible costumes, music, dancing. If you haven't seen it, please come. It opens May 30th. Well, I do love a musical. So, all right. Artistic Director of Trinity Rep, Kurt Columbus, thanks so much for being here on 12 News at 4, and we will stay tuned for your announcement next week. Great. Thanks, Kim.